In this video, we're going to go through an example of using the x equals g of x method. So we're going to start off with this equation, this cubic equation, x cubed take away x squared, take away 5x, take away 1 equals 0. And we want to show that it can be rearranged into this format. Now, I can spot this 5x plus 1, and I've got a plus 5x plus 1 if I move it over to the right-hand side. So if I start off in part A by adding 5x plus 1 to both sides of the equation, then I have that. Now, to get the x minus 1, I can factorise the left-hand side. So now I just need to divide both sides by the x minus 1. And then I can square root. And now I've got it in the format that was required. Part B, use the rearranged form, so this form here, to write a recurrence relation for the purpose of obtaining a solution to the original equation. So the x that stands by itself will become x subscript n plus 1. And the x's on the right-hand side will become xn's. So 5xn plus 1 over xn minus 1 square rooted. So that is the recurrence relation that can now be used. So with x1 equals 3, find to two decimal places the limit to which values in the recurrence relation tend. So with x1 equals 3, what you should do first is if you type 3 into your calculator and press the equals button, it puts the number 3 in as your answer key. So now, if I type this in with the x ends as the answer key, so square root, uh, use the fraction button, 5 lots of the answer key plus 1 in the numerator, and the answer key take away 1 in the denominator, I can just press equals, I get 2 root 2, which is 2.8284, dot, 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 dot. Now, I, all I need to do for x3 is just to press equals again. No more calculations. So 2.8777, x4, press equals again. So 2.8627, press equals again. 2.8672. Press equals again, 2.8658, let's do one more, 2.86629, okay? So, what we're looking for is agreement um, to three decimal places so that we can have agreement to two, okay? So... At the moment, for three decimal places, we've got 828, 877, 862, 867, 865, 866. I don't currently have agreement, so I should really go one step more. Uh, and x8 is 2.86617, so that I can see that I've got this agreement here to three decimal places that will allow me to round it to two decimal places. So I know now that x, the uh, root that I want, well, no, I shouldn't use that notation. Let's use alpha by itself. So the root will be 2.87 to two decimal places. Okay? And so that is one of the solutions um, the, well, the solution that I found for this original cubic equation.